This video was made possible by the good folks at Next Level Racing. To purchase a cockpit setup like mine or any other Next Level Racing products, check out nextlevelracing.com. What's up guys, it's Mike for Sim Racing 604 and today I'm going to be talking to you about how to install mods for Assetto Corsa. And I want to first off just thank you guys a lot. I was having a bit of writer's block this week. I couldn't think of video ideas so I put it out to you. You guys came up with more great ideas than I could possibly fulfill but I get to try my best to fulfill some of them and one of the ones that really stood out is there's um, a lot of sort of confusion around how to install mods for a Settle Corsa. It's something I sort of take for granted and I apologize for that. Um, I've been doing it for so long that it's sort of second nature to me, but uh, I should have taken some consideration that uh, not everyone has uh, done it for as long as me or as often as me. So here's my guide. I'm trying to keep it simple. I do strongly recommend that you use Content Manager for installing mods, but I will go through the secondary way, which is the manual install of just actually dragging and dropping from a computer pressed folder over to your uh, set of course of installation so we'll get into all that and again thank you guys so much for throwing out all those great video ideas I'm gonna hopefully get to more very soon and uh, let's not waste any time let's go ahead and get into how to install mods for a set of Corsa all right guys so now we're gonna talk about where I actually get my mods so we'll start off with the big one, Race Department. If you head to racedepartment.com, I strongly recommend signing up for a membership. There's premium memberships, basic memberships. Head on over to Downloads. And uh, on the left side, you'll find a Settle Corsa. And then you can choose um, apps, career, whatever. But we're going to focus on cars and tracks. So go to cars and then you can choose to download any of these cars. All of them are free for you. And uh, same as the tracks, any of the tracks you find on race department are also free. So that's the majority of the mods I find. Uh, also another good one is race sim studio. They make fantastic, fantastic cars. Um, they've had a couple years in the Assetto Corsa modding game now. Most of them are paid except for the RSS3 that you're seeing on your screen now, um, but uh, primarily a paid mod team. VRC modding team, same sort of deal. They make some great ones for Assetto Corsa. Obviously, they're focusing heavily on open wheelers, but uh, they've also branched out a bit and gone with some um, prototype cars. ASR Formula, another great one. ASR Formula, once they actually release their mods fully in version 1.0 and above, those mods are free. They also make them for us, uh, R Factor 2 as well. And finally, uh, United Racing Design, they have, uh, which you can find at unitedracingdesign.net. They make some great cars as well. I love the Shiro JT5. It's one of my favorite cars in Assetto Corsa. And as you can see, they have a few others as well. And uh, the other one is Facebook. I don't want to show my personal Facebook page, but uh, you can go to Facebook and find a whole lot of mods. There are some Facebook uh, modding groups that uh, exclusively del deliver their mods via Facebook. So you can find some exclusive mods on there. There's some really great ones out there. Too many to mention, really. But uh, if you have a Facebook account, good idea to just search a set of course of mods and you will find lots. Okay, so now we'll talk a little bit about the installation methods. One via Content Manager is super simple, could not be easier. The other one via Windows Explorer is slightly more complicated, but uh, nothing you can't handle. So we're going to take the top two mods here right now on Race Department, the Skip Barber for Assetto Corsa. Click through, choose Download, and it should ask where you want to save it. In my case, I'm going to save it to my very populated Downloads folder. While that's working, we'll go ahead and do the same thing for the 1964 Austin Mini Cooper. And same thing, we'll tell it where we want to save it. So, um, what we'll do first is the um, Content Manager installation. So it's very, very simple, like I was saying. Um, I will just choose to uh, show this in the folder. So once you have the compressed file downloaded, just simply left click, drag to your content manager window. And if you look in the top right hand corner of the screen right now, before I release this mouse, you'll see three lines there in white. As soon as I release the mouse, those are turning green. You can see it kind of churning away. Uh, so I have three green bars here. If I click those three green bars, it's going to 
excuse me, ask if I want to install this, and uh, I choose yes, and it goes and does its thing. And it says it's successfully installed. You do the same thing for tracks. And now when I go into uh, my car selection screen, I should be able to just search or find the manufacturer name in my list. And there we go, we have the Austin Mini Cooper just that easily. So uh, the second one we want to install and we'll use the secondary method, which is via uh, Windows Explorer. So we will start by opening up this and we'll go to the root of our installation drive where all my Steam games are installed, which in my case is D drive. Um, if you haven't changed anything, then yours is probably the C drive. Uh, so we'll click the skip barber and WinRAR will ask me to buy it. I am not going to buy it. So what we have here is um, within this zip file or RAR file in this case, uh, the Skip Barber F2000. And if you double click that, you should see the content folder. That's the most common folder you'll see if you're not using Content Manager and installing mods manually. Content is most common. Sometimes you will see it just say the name of the car and we'll get into what exactly that means in a moment. So if we go back to Windows Explorer, it helps to know a little bit about uh, the folder structure for Assetto Corsa. It's a Steam game. So if we go into, again, the installation drive, which in my case is the D drive, go into Steam library, then Steam apps, then common, Assetto Corsa, and you'll see we have a content folder here. So all I have to do is drag, what you're doing is actually merging folders. So all I want to do is drag from my zipped or RAR file over to the Assetto Corsa root folder, which does contain the content and just release my button. And uh, it's going to basically merge those two content folders. And now if I go into where the cars are installed, which is within content, and you see we have a cars folder double click that and somewhere in this extremely long mostly unused list of cars there is the skip barber f2000 just as planned so to verify that installation you don't need content manager uh, to run a set of course of course but i do use it and it's very handy it's already open so i should be able to go in here and change and uh, again i'll search and i should be able to find my skip barber and sure enough, I do, and it looks like it has installed successfully. So that's great. So um, again, knowing a bit about the folder structure of Assetto Corsa does help. So we'll go through that one more time. So your installation drive, in my case, is the D drive, uh, Steam library, Steam apps, common, Assetto Corsa, and then uh, most likely when you download a RAR file, it will show content as the root folder because sometimes there are various fonts and things like that that it needs to install. Um, but sometimes it's just the car itself. So if it's just the car itself, uh, go into content and then in cars, and then you can just physically drag. Now it's gonna show duplicate f uh, files, of course, but I could just drag my Skip Barber folder over to uh, cars and then it will automatically install that so that would be the same for tracks under content there's a tracks folder if you're downloading tracks and you have to manually move it over just move it into the tracks folder or sometimes tracks will show under the content folder so basically you're lining up uh, the content folder uh, move content to the root of Assetto Corsa or move the car file excuse me car folder what did I do content cars and you can just move that over into cars so hopefully that makes sense guys if you don't uh please leave a comment below i'll do my best to answer it and you can always email me simracing604 at gmail.com and i'll do my best to walk you through installing assetto corsa mods but it's very simple thank you guys so much for watching i hope this helped and we'll see you next time